looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Coins, look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Reserve. Head on over to MuttReserve.com. Use code Poodle at checkout for 30% off your order. Take advantage, guys. Do not waste your money on packs. Skip the packs. Head on over. Pick up some coins. Enjoy. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got quite a few things. We have Thursday LTDs. We have some new NFL Honor cards in packs, guys. Now, the way I'm going to run this video, guys, is first off, there could be some updates. I'm going to go over those as well. I'm going to go through the players, and I will open up a few packs towards the end, so definitely stay tuned for the packs regarding the newer players. But you guys already know, our luck's horrible. We've never pulled an LTD 10, 10 years almost at this point. No, 8 years, 8 to 9, 10, I don't know. Madden 13 never pulled one. Still trying to pull our first LTD. I don't know if that'll ever happen, guys. I don't, I don't understand why I don't have that luck. It's beyond me, but I'm excited to try each and every drill. Well, not even. I, I, I encourage myself to try, although we know how that's going to end. But guys, before we do get into today's video and go through all the newer players and check it out, head in down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on bell, boys. Always comment down below. It helps out the channel tremendously. Let me know so far who is your favorite NFL Honors card and like the video, guys. Both those things help out a lot. And if you guys do need coins, head on over to my reserve down below and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional discount. Now, guys, the big deal here, the big thing is going to be the NFL Honors cards followed by the LTDs. Now, in terms of those cards, are they good? Are they bad, guys? The Thursday LTDs have been pretty fire all year long. Of course, sometimes we get positions like, let's say, left tackle or middle linebacker or maybe defensive tackle. I'm like, okay, so, you know, maybe we don't care too much. A center, like, you know, linemen are cool, but, you know, no one really cares, right? Um, so, it really depends on the position you get, maybe a fullback. So, other than that, the stats are good. It just comes down to whether or not we really care for the position. But otherwise, stats are typically good, good, right? So, we have the... Uh, Still says Chase Young and Justin Herbert, guys, which is, you know, word to the wise. That's why you never, ever open up packs until you see the in-game messaging because Kralo and them have made it pretty pretty clear that if you don't see the in-game messaging, they're probably not in packs. But more than likely, guys, they don't know, they, you know, they're always getting messed up on their server side. So more than likely, they just say that so that if anything goes wrong and they're not out yet, they can't be, uh, you know, forced to do make rights or have any legal liability for false advertisement. It's more like a disclaimer or like a caution wet sign kind of a thing, whether or not it's actually wet. But nonetheless, guys, let's get into it. Let me go show you guys these stats over on the screenshots. Hey guys, so real quick, I want to throw this in there from the stream. So we have reminders and updates. First off, Friday on the 12th, which is tomorrow, Black History Month program does start. It's a three-part program, so we're going to get part one first. Third release of NFL Honors will be coming, and Ultimate Legends will be coming on Saturday, which is two days from today, Monday the 15th. Next week, we'll have No Good Morning Madden due to President's Day. And fourth and final day or fourth and final release of the NFL Honors. And then Series 5, the Mutt team is targeting to release Series 5 next Friday, the 19th. So a lot of good content coming this week. Honestly, better than I originally expected next week to go, considering this is typically a dead week because of, uh, you know, Super Bowl ending and stuff. But it's getting some of the Black History Month reveals. Definitely cool that they are doing this, you know. So Black History Month, celebrate the achievements of a black NFL icon each week throughout the month of February. Each week, play challenges to earn a 90 overall version of, a feature, of the feature player. Complete all three weeks to earn a 95 overall version of any of the featured players. So, guys, to give you an example, let's say the featured player was uh, X, X, Y, and Z, right? I don't know specific names. X, Y, and Z. So, you play this week, you get player X at 90 overall. You play next week, you get player Y at a 90 overall. And then they used to do this stuff a lot in the older Maddens, which are super cool. Now, in a few weeks, when this is all done, in three weeks, you'll be able to pick any of those players that they gave us at 90 overall as a 95 total max. Kind of like Gauntlet. So, that's super cool. Let's get into the first player that we are seeing today. So Black History Month, these are the solo challenges containing your choice of one 95 overall version of the featured players. Now, Fritz Pollard, he played in the 1920s. He played for the Chicago Blackhawks and the Harlem Brown Bombers, I believe. He was a running back. Uh, yeah, that he is, actually. Picture looks very old. I think it was 1920, so it's obviously going to look a little bit old. Looks like an old photograph. 89 speed, 90 excel, 90 agility, 84 carrying, 75 catching, 90 change of direction, 80 trucking, 88 break tackle. Now, this car cannot be powered up, of course. But maybe his 95 will be. Now, again, this car may not look too great. But, again, this is more about the culture and doing, you know, what may be right. And not to mention, this is just a 90 overall. In three weeks, you'll get the official full-blown 95. So, I definitely got to stay for that. But that's it about that, guys. I think that pretty much covers the Black History side of the first one released. Tomorrow. So, let's go check out the last LT that I was telling you guys about and everything else. All right, so, starting off with Alex Smith, Comeback Player of the Year. Now, interesting that we did get an Alex Smith because last year, I believe they skipped out on Comeback Player of the Year, Ryan Tannehill. So, that's pretty interesting to see that he did actually get a card. Uh, a lot of people thought he might get snubbed, but I guess, you know, comeback play of the year for Ryan Tannehill was a little bit different than maybe Alex Smith. So they felt like they had to get it through. And Tannehill had the team MVP coming, so, or whatever it was, the team standout, whatever you want to call that. So I guess they just avoided that. Now, Alex Smith, 86 speed. Okay, solid speed. 
Biggest knock on the card though, no power up. That's gonna be an issue. 96 throw power, 96 throw short, 94 medium accuracy, 92 deep accuracy, 93 throw under pressure, 94 throw on the run, and 94 play action. I kind of find it. I kind of find it. I kind of find it odd that Alex Smith is 97 overall, but his stats like a little bit subpar, right? In terms of like, you know, he's a 97. He's a 97, but no stats from 97. Almost all of them are below 94. Now the speed is okay because he's a field general, right? But he's not going to. He's good. He's going to be a good quarterback because he's a field general. But the issue is going to lie with the power up. No 95 medium accuracy. No, you know, below 92 deep accuracy. The throw power will get to 99. The short and medium could get potentially to a 99 if you get him chemmed up with play fake. But the deep will suffer a little bit. And again, no power up does hurt. But other than that, the card isn't bad. I mean, like if this card, okay, you you make this card literally anyone else with power up, and you're probably talking about this as being one of the better quarterbacks in Madden right now. But because of the fact that he is going to be Alex Smith with an 86 speed and, you know, no power up, going to hinder him a little bit. But again, not bad overall. Then we have the next one, which is going to be our other NFL Honors card. Derrick Henry, Offensive Player of the Year. Well deserved, actually. Like, Derrick Henry really deserved this card. 97 overall with a power up. So he will get to a 98 overall back. So let's see, 95 speed. So that's what we were hoping. We were hoping Derrick Henry will get to that 96 speed powered up. So that's good. You have 96 speed and 93 excel, which is good, not great. Like, it's not, it's not amazing. It's not game changing, but it's good. Because, of course, he's going to be hurt by that agility at an 86. Carry 95 is good. 90, uh, 65 catching is bad. 86 change of direction is not great. 97 uh, trucking and break tackle is amazing. So he'll have 99 break tackle, more than likely 99 trucking, and 96 speed. But that change of direction and agility is going to hurt him. Um, of course, the speed's great. Straight line speed, power. If you just want a pure power, straight line speed back is your guy. If you got to get a little more sticky with it or like, you like to make, you make people miss, you're good at you know using the stick. Derrick Henry may not be your guy, but Derrick Henry's still good. I just really wish they would have boosted up the uh, change of direction and agility ratings, of course, you know, for this kind of card. This is this might be his last card of the year, guys. I mean, again, he could get, like, some off-season card, whether it be a blockbuster or something, but this could, you know, like, this has the potential to be the last cards that you guys get for the rest of the year. So it's always nice if they can go ahead and really give him, like, that last, you know, the last checkout, give him, give him a meta card. All they have to do is give him the agility and change the direction at 90. Would have been loving this card, right? But that's going to hurt him a little bit. Let's go check out one of the LTDs, and then we're going to check out after this if they're on the block. And then, of course, hopefully we've given it enough time to go open some packs as well. Let's go check that out. We got Tremaine Edmonds, 96 overall middle linebacker for the Buffalo Bills. You know, playoffs, Bills were nice. Um, the LTDs, of course, are going to reflect that. Now, Tremaine Edmonds, 90 speed, 91 excel. Now, the speed is a little bit low, in my opinion. Now, again, it's not that the card is horrible, but there's two knocks on it. For starters, guys like Devin White have 94 speed, right? So that's going to hurt him. For seconds, middle linebackers are so... Le they have never been less cared for in Madden history to the point where Devin White with 94 speed is barely given any consideration, so Tremaine Edmonds with 90 speed won't be. But other than that, guys, 90 and 91 excel isn't horrible. Strength 77 is decent. 96 tackling is great. 94 player X great. 94 block shed is great. And 96 hit power is amazing. 80 zone coverage a little bit on the lower side considering, but not bad considering he's considered a run-stopping uh, middle linebacker. But he's not bad. Now, again, if Devin White had a power-up and he wasn't a middle linebacker, we'd be talking about him as a meta card. So that's kind of the issue we're having this year with middle linebacker. It's, just, it's sad to say, but that's just the state of the game. Middle linebackers just aren't cared for. I would like to see in the future. I would love this personally. Would love, love, love this if EA would come around next year and create the game a little bit more like FIFA in terms of how they do out of position stuff. So like if you play, you know, a striker at midfielder, they get their chemistry gets knocked down or their overall gets knocked down. I think it's chemistry. So pretty much the player won't play as well there despite his overall. He'll, he'll feel like out of place. Which is, you know, realistic. In real life, you can't just play, you know, a strong safety at middle linebacker and expect them to know the run fits and expect them to do everything. Can you? Yes. Will they, will they always play at their top tier potential at this position? Probably not. That would be cool. It would bring back middle linebackers, defensive tackles, a lot of other stuff. But that's about it for that, guys. Let's head back over to the Madden screen, check out the final LTD, check out some of the updates, and, of course, go over the auction and maybe open a few packs if they're up. Check out the final LTDs and a few other things that we do have here. Of course, let's go see that. The limited edition newest let's see if we got any of the new ones up Tremaine Edmonds Brandon Linder appears to be the new one I believe yep so let's check them out real quick center for the Jacksonville Jaguars high 90 run blocking high 90 pass blocking really really good card besides the run block finesse a uh, great card overall nothing too special at the center I mean at the end of the day you honestly guys I wouldn't even bother with him just pick up the team of the year one gonna be cheaper more efficient in terms of pricing cannot go wrong with him at all and now we do not see any of the other ones up just yet uh, Tremaine Edmonds is up now I do want to see if any of the NFL honor cards did just go live because of course we do have the new ones in game kind of curious to see how that affects some pricing here so let's go to NFL honors 
see oh alex smith is live okay cool alex smith is live and of course we do not see the other one just yet but that'll take time but guys that pretty much wraps up today's video not much more to go over there hopefully you guys did enjoy if you aren't into the channel subscribe turn that notification bell boys always like and comment helps out a lot let me know which one of the new cards from today were your favorite are you hyped for the black history month promo let me know if you think we'll see a cap i feel like we're gonna see a cap at some point but that's about it enjoy the rest of your day i'm out peace